breathtaking views on Minnesota's North Shore are the pull. Ready? Yep. Which bring people in. All right now, it's nice and foggy, can't really see much. Jake Boyce owns Day Tripper of Duluth, guiding adventure seekers out on Lake Superior. So where are we right now? I would say 300 meters shy and south of Split Rock Lighthouse. Perhaps the most iconic North Shore site on this morning, barely visible at all. What can be seen? Paddling over the Madeira, so a shipwreck sunk November 20th, 1905. Evidence of the reason the famous lighthouse is there. So it's been down there a while. Visible from a kayak above a more than century old shipwreck, the Madeira lost in the worst storm in Great Lakes history. The Matapa storm, which sunk a quarter of the ships on Lake Superior that day. So it crashed into this point? Yep. Yep, and so the ship is really just kind of wrapped around the whole point here. A crew member climbed this 60-foot cliff, throwing down a rope to save all but one of the 10 people on board. Lives saved and a lighthouse born. That storm is the reason why Split Rock is here. Hayes Scriven is the site manager at Split Rock Lighthouse. There was over 30 ships that were lost um, and the ship carriers got together, petitioned Congress and got $75,000 allocated to build a lighthouse. So if it weren't for that storm, we might not have a Split Rock? Probably not. The Madeira itself is our closest kind of uh, relic to, to show people why the light station is here. Are there many shipwrecks you can kayak out and see like this? Not really. This one's pretty unique in that it's not too far from launch point. Breathtaking views, both present and past. You're here in this beauty that's surrounding you of the North Shore. Also just think like you're walking around history. Ooh, some beautiful stuff up there. Yeah, some artifacts from the ship, including the anchor, are on display at Split Rock. And a note if you want to head out, Lake Superior, of course, can be very dangerous, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So that's why the guide we, uh, Jen Jennifer went out with, rather, a day tripper of Duluth only offers guided tours and not rentals. Yeah, probably wise to get a guide. Yeah, I think so. Stuff but, can uh, change pretty quickly on that water. Absolutely. It's like the ocean out there. It's so huge. Yeah, it's massive. Well, you have a chance to set yourself up for an epic Minnesota road trip of your own. Each Friday when you see these stories, you'll get a keyword. Use it to enter to win a prize pack from the Minnesota Lottery valued at 150 bucks. Here's today's keyword. Are you ready for it? It's boating. boating. Now all you have to do is use this word to enter on the contest tab on our Facebook page or at care11.com slash MN road trip. Boating. Boating. You gotta say it like a true Minnesotan. Boating. Boating. <laughs> Good luck, Sunrisers. Hey.